do you think that the Earth is billions of years old? Because I asked you if you think creationism is true, and you said no. I believe, um, yeah, it could be. I'm not sure of the exact date. It could be billions, trillions of years old. I uh, know nah, it ain't trillions of years old. So, um, if life on this planet has been around for possibly billions of years, then God, why is this not working? Sorry, I'm trying to open something on my computer. If life's been around for billions of years, then wouldn't you expect that life to dramatically change over time? Um, yeah, it's possible. Adaptation is possible, yeah. It's, I'm, I don't disagree with that. But, so, okay, uh, what Let, I let's, with, let's do it this way. Let's possible. do it this way instead because you invoked humans. Uh, do you think that humans have existed for the entire time that the Earth has existed? Most likely not, no. Okay, then how did, how did the human species come to exist? I say through evolution. Created, yeah, I say God created Adam and Eve as the first human beings, and it, it is likely that they, um, in terms of their genetic makeup, um, you know, for, for God, it's not possible to. So when our claim is that God evolved or he could have done the evolution part within a fraction of a second from dirt into actual human beings. So that's, it's, it's not even a, I think it's irrelevant to talk about the actual methodology of how God did it. Um, because essentially you and I are saying the same thing. You're saying that we evolved from stardust at some point. We're not um, saying the same thing at all. Okay, so how do we evolve? <clears throat> Were we stardust at some point? Uh, n I was never stardust, no. Okay, so before the Earth was formed, uh, where did the Earth come from? Uh, the Earth coalesced from a nebula of material in space, but that's not the same thing as that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. How is it not the same thing? Nebula of stuff eventually became because, Earth. Because, okay. Earth eventually became, gave yep, rise I, to you. I can explain it to you. Um, I have a cat, right? And my cat eats cat food. And obviously, animals need food to grow and nourish their bodies. So, is it accurate to say that cat food turns into my cat? It helps in the, in the growth of your cat. Sure. Is it accurate to say that cat food turns into cat? Uh, it, uh, in, in one sense, yes. Okay, well, I think it's absolutely not reasonable because it skips about a billion necessary transformative steps in between. So, okay. Stardust, at one point, there were no living creatures on planet Earth. I'll grant that. But that was billions of years ago. Today, there are living creatures. So, you don't get to skip billions of years worth of steps and say Stardust turned into people. So, if humans I mean, did evolve... You know what I meant. You know what I meant. So, I, I just didn't mean Stardust kind of. itself. Well, so I think you know what I meant. Sure. <laughs> if humans so, other laws of physics were involved. You, you were saying that the laws of physics were involved in turning this nebula into the Earth. Um, chemical reactions were responsible in, in converting this into, into the Earth. And within the Earth, you know, there's chemical reactions taking place that eventually gave rise to the first cell magically and the first cell evolved into, a, into bacteria into banana whatever and then we are now as human beings so that's your claim amen yes. hail Saint absolutely right. oh. absolutely okay, so you knew what i meant i mean you know the arguments so i don't know why <laughs> get into the details but um what is before the the with these discussions that i've had in the, had in the past the, the, a lot of the problems um come come about when you know, when we are not clear on certain definitions of truth about God, definition about what is what is evidence. So I think we should run that through before we go into any details about me giving you proof that God exists. Because I can give you all the proof in the world and you could just say, oh, by the way, that's... I thought we were having a conversation a about evolution. Um, 
Okay, you want to stick to evolution? I'm not interested in evolution, by the way. I told you my position uh, that I believe that human beings came from Adam and Eve, and it is possible sure. that evolution took place um, in the animal kingdom. Adaptation sure. is, is, is something possible. If you would be so changes. kind, though, if you would be so kind, though, can we spend, like, one minute on the topic? Um, so I'm not well-versed with biology or anything like that, but we can, yeah, we can, if you want to. If humans did evolve, what would the evidence look like? If the humans did evolve from from a banana or... No, not from a banana, just if humans evolved in general, what would the evidence look like? Um, if the humans did evolve... What would the evidence look like? For me, for me, evidence is not just limited to to testimonial, um, you know, uh, stuff. Evidence from from the from the scientists. So for me, evidence should be logical. So, so I, I, don't, actually, I don't know what um, logical evidence would look like. The, can I think about can I like help you out here a little bit? Like, if somebody said that. Uh, a fish lived in water, what would the evidence look like to determine whether fish live in water? If the fish lived in water, what would the evidence look like? So they yeah. have to to um, define what a fish is and define <laughs> what define to me what, water what the, is. We're going to have to skip this. Uh, this is what the evidence would look like, and we do have this evidence. Humans have... Uh, very highly derived traits. We're very clearly primates, but we have um, um, uh, like uh, our. Sorry, I got a notification that my live is restricted and it distracted me. But we have very highly derived traits. Unlike the other primates, we have grotesquely large craniums and we have relatively flat faces. So you'd expect to see uh, the gradual change or evolution of those traits. And we have exactly that evidence. So, okay. the, the evidence... Where is that picture from? The internet. The internet, and you believe yeah, whatever I, is posted on the internet? I don't believe you everything conduct? that is posted on the internet, but I've read right. also lots of books, um, and I've seen photos from museums, and I've been to museums myself, and I've seen... Uh, Huge numbers of. I, I've seen uh, yeah, huge numbers all, of uh, things, yeah, specimens, whatever that that support life going through stages of evolution over time. Yeah, I dismiss that because that's all testimonial evidence. <laughs> You're believing what other people are telling you to believe. Did you conduct any experiment on your own? Evolutionary experiments? Uh, no. Okay. So basically, you're relying on other people to tell you what is true. Uh, that is how almost everybody gains almost all of the knowledge they have, except for okay. personal knowledge about their own life. So you're allowed to do that, but we are not. I never said anybody is or is not allowed to do anything. It's just what so is. You... It's just about what's reasonable and who actually has okay. the evidence. So if I make a claim that something happened 1400 years ago or 5,000 years ago uh, through testimonial evidence of people that I, I can trust, you're not going to dismiss that as parsimonious or something that's just, uh, you know, not something you don't accept because you've accepted that standard for yourself. What kind of person dismisses something because it's parsimonious? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, a story is not sufficient evidence to make me believe in magic. It's not a sufficient standard of evidence for you either evolution of human beings from bacteria is also a story it's also a, a form of a story. yeah but there's there's predictable evidence for it for example we should share genes with them and we do so we have yeah. the evidence homology is an assumption in evolution it's a testable assumption testable assumption assumptions yep. are assumptions what do you mean testable it's testable a assumptions hypothesis are is a testable assumption about the world. Hypoth hypotheses are assumption by definition. Yeah, and they are testable if they are scientific. 
No, no. Hypothesis can either turn out to be true or false based on your what the assumption was, based on your, the, the new data that you discover. Yeah. So in other words, it's testable. You just said what I said in in more words. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So a long so time ago, Darwin came up with this idea that life, all life on the planet, evolved from a common stock, and we know what the evidence of that theoretically would have been. Uh, among many things, it would have been that all life on the planet is related. All life on the planet is related. That is positive evidence for evolution. That's one. That's one assumption out of. So the other option could be if God exists. If God exists, he could create a monkey. He could create a human with similar traits. What's the test what's for the, that? Can you no? What's what that? The burden of proof is on you to 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 say that. No, that you're the one happen. giving me the claim. What's the test for your claim? You believe that cannot happen. Is that your claim? I never said that it can't happen. Although I don't believe in magic, so establish it's that magic, magic exists, and then we would have a reason to start at step one here. So give me evidence that magic exists. Define magic. Uh, you can define it according to your own terms. If I have a problem with the way you put it, then I'll let you know. Because again, this is your magic. burden. If you define magic to be something that happens outside of the known natural laws or patterns that we observe, um, then I, yeah, I do believe in magic. Cause I do you think that God that uses law. the laws of physics to create monkeys? I have no idea. I'm agnostic about how God does anything. Okay, so you don't have any evidence then, nor could you ever have yeah, any evidence because you're agnostic. I so we don't it's have irrelevant. we don't have it's any evidence of God, and you are incapable of providing any evidence because you're agnostic, which means don't you care. don't think anybody can know any of this. 